Every time I film a video, it's like a game of what can I stack on top of another thing to make the camera the correct height. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. What is good? What is popping? So today, as you probably read from the title, unless you're Jared and you're 19, we are going to be making some pottery. I'm gonna try to make a mug or something. I don't know. I guess I'll, we'll just figure out where this takes me. Also, whilst we potterize, um, we are gonna be answering some questions that you guys asked. So yeah, without further ado, let's just um, start making something. It smells like a musty hotel pool. I have to like, ooh. Will this Ikea table hold up the test of me pounding clay into it? Let's find out. It's a little hard, so I'm just gonna add some water. I don't know, I think that's what you do with clay. I like know how to make a mug. First things first, I need to roll this out and cut out a base for the mug. So I'm gonna take this bottle of champagne that I have sitting here. God, this is turning out to be a workout. I did not sign up to work out. Now, like I said, I'm making a mug. This clay says, um, do not let finished pieces come into contact with food or liquid. You cannot eat out of it. It is not intended for use like that. But like, honestly, we're not gonna listen to that. It says non-toxic on it, so like, what's the worst that could happen? We are gonna make a mug and we're gonna drink out of it. Something about when something like this says it's not edible, like just makes me want to eat it. All right, hear me out. Anything is edible if you try. My 2003 Impala is edible. If I break it down, I can eat it. Sure, I'd probably die by like the third bite of the catalytic converter, but it, I still ate it. Anything is edible if you try hard enough. That is my inspirational quote of the day. Okay, so we now have a circle. Now, if if my brain calculates correctly, um, there's a good chance that it doesn't, but you need to find the circumference to make like the thing, but the radius is like half the two pi, something about pi, maybe not something about pi. <laughs> so the radius of this is one and a half inches. I don't know what to do with that information though, so Google is telling me my circumference is approximately 9.42, which I don't know what that means. 9.42 inches? Now, I was thinking about this mug, and I'm like, I could just make like a normal mug, but what would be the fun in that? Like, I have to make it weird. So I was thinking about making it like really tall for no reason. Just like a ridiculously stupid tall mug. All right, so while I roll this out, I'll start answering your guys' questions that you had for me. The first question is, what have I been up to? Um, absolutely nothing. I've been up to nothing. I'm just so bored lately, and it's like the kind of bored where like, nothing is fulfilling. I'm just like, permanently bored. What is a new hobby or habit that I've picked up during quarantine? Buying sweatshirts and hoodies. At one point last week, I had six hoodies in transit to my home. Six? It's a problem because in my wardrobe, I already have probably 20, which is like so unnecessary because I only wear like the same six. Next question, what motivates me to be productive? I wish I knew. I am just not productive these days. I will sit here on this bed and like stare at the ceiling for six hours. Do you guys have any like motivating tips or productive tips? Leave them in the comments below because I think we all need that right now. Next question, have I ever thought about opening up my own coffee place? Honestly, that's been on my mind heavy lately. I don't know why. I think I'm just like getting antsy and I just like don't want to work under anyone anymore. Maybe like one day when I escape the grasp of like part-time jobs and like minimum wage, I can fulfill that dream of mine. But until then, what do I like most about being a barista? Um, drinking the coffee or making it. I, look, if you know me, you know I'm not a customer service person. Next question, was I a directioner? Was I a directioner? Me? I had fan accounts on Twitter. I had fan accounts on Instagram. In fact, the entire time I've been doing this, I've been thinking of 1D Day, 
when Harry and Niall did the Harry Pottery thing. When 1D premiered November 23rd, it was my brother's birthday and I skipped my brother's birthday to watch like the, how long was it? The live stream? I watched the One Direction live stream all day, skipped my brother's birthday. Has Harry ever noticed me IRL <laughs> or online? Um, no. I'm fine, I swear. I'm just kidding. Um, no, he has never noticed me anywhere, but his sister Gemma did. She tweeted me back once. What is my favorite song from Folklore? Um, definitely Peace. I'm a fire and I'll keep your brittle heart warm if your cascade ocean wave blues come. All these people think love's for show, but I would die for you in secret. Devil's in the details, but you got a friend in me? I just put a fist print in this. Now I have to roll it out. When is my merch coming out? <laughs> Okay, so I drew up a design for the merch, ordered the samples, got the samples, hated the samples. So, um, actually I have it around here somewhere. My room is a disaster right here. Okay, so here's the hoodie that I have, which honestly, I didn't like the design. I didn't like how the colors printed out on the hoodie. So I went back to my iPad and I redrew the design and now I'm waiting for the other samples to come in. And if I like those samples, that's where my merch is. Why are you so funny? Trauma. The next question is, do you get tired or mind that people see you as coffee being your personality? You don't even want to get me started on this. In the most plain and simple way, yes. But let's get into like my content. So as we know, I like coffee. We all like coffee. I know that a lot of people have subscribed to my channel because they want me to make coffee recipes. I worked at Starbucks, whatever, we get it. But at this point, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. I feel like I have nothing more to offer. How many more recipes can I make before it's like done? I feel like now at this point, I'm like backed into a corner where like the only content that I can make has to be revolved around coffee. I guess what I'm saying is I kind of just want to make whatever kind of content I want to make. But I also feel like I owe it to everyone that's subscribed for coffee stuff to make coffee stuff all the time. Which I'm not going to stop making coffee stuff because... But I think that I'm going to start kind of doing more different things as well. And if it gets like 10 views then so be it. At least I was happy making it, you know? I don't know, I just feel like I'm at a point with like the Starbucks kind I don't even work at Starbucks anymore. Like I- <laughs> Move on sis, is what I feel. Cause like I won't lie, I do not enjoy the pressure of feeling like I have to make some kind of videos because I know that people- I just- I don't want making videos and stuff to get to a point where I don't think it's fun anymore. And I do still think it's fun and, and I'm afraid that if I continue forcing myself to make a certain kind of content that I don't want to make, it's not going to be fun for me anymore and I just don't want it to get to that point, you know? I guess I'm just going to start making stuff that I like. I don't know. If you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. But I guess I'm going to just start making it for myself because I like it. Anyways, that was a really long rant. Um, next question. <laughs> What's the best coffee I've ever tried? The best coffee I've ever tried. This changes like week to week, but in my Bones coffee video, like two videos ago, had that Fruity Pebbles coffee. Bro, I made that into cold brew. Oh my God. I drank it all in a day. And the whole thing, the whole bag. <laughs> Don't look at me. Am I Canadian? I am not Canadian. So many people think I'm Canadian. Where did y'all get that from? What is my skincare routine? I use Curology. We've been new. Um, This is not sponsored by Curology, but I do still use them. It's only three products, which is great for me because I am so lazy. Am I into the Twilight series? Okay. Plain and simple? No. I also got a question about Star Wars. Am I into Star Wars? No. And here's why. I have nothing against it. I don't know anything about Twilight. I, there's like an apple involved or something. Or am I thinking about Adam and Eve? But here's the thing with Twilight, Star Wars, and Nicolas Cage. I have never seen anything Star Wars. I have never seen anything Twilight and I have never seen anything with Nicolas Cage in it. And at this point, I'm 21 years old. And I just think if I have gone 21 years without ever coming across a Nicolas Cage film, Star Wars, or Twilight, then I just want to go the rest of my life. I just want to see how long I can do it now. Just because I see it as a challenge now. I'm like, how long can I go? So yeah. To answer your question, no, I'm not into Twilight. What is my favorite coffee order? That changes kind of often, but right now it's like a black iced Americano. It's just been hitting lately. In like the worst way though, because I will drink like six. 
I guess I should update you on what I'm doing with this pottery. I'm just wetting it because it's getting a little dry because I have been spending way too much time talking. Where is my dream place to live or state? Anywhere on the West Coast because honestly, fuck the East Coast. I had to say it. It's just, I'm, it's not for me. I want to either be in like California, maybe like Colorado, maybe Oregon. God, I can't say that. Every time I say Oregon in a video, everyone comments about how stupid I say Oregon. Oregon, 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 Oregon. Next question is, where did I meet my BF? We both worked at Starbucks. <laughs> a modern day love story, am I right? Yeah, no, but uh, we both worked at Starbucks and yeah, that's it. And uh, one thing led to another. Why is everything in my life tied to Starbucks? I just wanna know. Who is my favorite YouTuber? I guess my classics are Jenna Marbles. I really like Chris Clemens. He's really sick, if you don't know who that is. Um, I don't know if they count as YouTubers, but Trixie and Katya. The show, mmm, cause it's our show, not yours. If you have never watched that show, go watch it. I have watched every season, every episode, probably six times and I will continue watching it. Love them so much. They are the funniest people in the whole entire world. Did I go to college? Yes, I went to college for one semester and I hated it. Do not go to college if you don't know what you're going for. That is my advice today. Do not go to college if you're just going because people want you to go. Wait until you know what you wanna do and then go to college. Don't rush it. Don't rush it straight out of high school. If you're not ready, you're not ready. I don't know, it just seems ridiculous to me. At the age of like 18, supposed to know your life career. Uh-uh. Seems fake. Dropped out. So now I'm here. I haven't gone back to college because I don't know what I want to do and I don't want to waste money. So maybe once I figure out what I want to do with my life, I'll go back to college. And I don't know, maybe my life plan won't even include college. I don't know. I'm just riding it out. Whatever happens, happens, you know? I need to start making this mug. Okay, so my measurements were so far off, let me tell you. Um, I have this slab here. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. I want it to be taller, so I think I'm gonna add another one on top of this. Before I do that, I'm going to score and wet this so I can attach the pieces. I took far too many art classes in high school. You know how there's like requirements, like you have to take this many years of this and this, this, and this. Yeah, I don't think they even, I don't even think I was on their radar because I took the same art class it had the same name and everything for two hours a day for two years and no one said anything. They were like, yep, that's fine. Actually, the art teacher was on to me. She was like, why are you back in this class again? And I'm like, I don't know, the counselor did it. But like, meanwhile, I'm in the counselor's office. Like, I'm just so passionate about art and like, it just makes my heart so happy. And she's like, okay, sweetie, I'll put you in another art class. I just didn't want to do actual work, so that's why I did it. Don't take my school advice. All right, now we could stop here, but are we going to? No. I don't have that much clay to work with at this point. <laughs> the next question is, was I popular in high school because I'm pretty? First of all, <laughs> thanks for thinking I'm pretty. Um, no. In fact, if there was an award for like most likely to go unnoticed, it would have been me. But I was too unnoticed to even get noticed for that award to be unnoticed. You know what I mean? I had no social life, never once went to a party. I probably went to one football game and I'm pretty sure I hated it, so. I have to let this clay dry out a little bit before I can stack her up. So I'm gonna take a break and then we will get back to making this a little bit later. It's been like five hours. Looks like my iced coffee is still sitting here. Okay, so this has now hardened into a cylinder that I can stack another cylinder on top of. So that is what we are gonna do right now. So obviously my measurements were a little bit off. Is it gross that I'm still drinking this coffee? Actually, oh my God, <laughs> confession. I made that coffee yesterday <laughs> and I left it in the French press overnight. And then today I just started drinking it Oh my God, I'm nasty. Who's gonna tell me I can't drink day old French press coffee that's been sitting in room temperature French press? Who's gonna tell me I can't do that? That's what I love about life. You can do whatever you want. It's like a video game. You can literally just do whatever you want. Cause like, who's gonna stop you? The police? Doubt it, they're busy doing other things. Uh, yeah, this is what it's looking like. We're gonna need to do a lot of work here. Oh God, it's stuck to the table. Oh no. Hello, come on. It's okay, don't be shy. Okay, so this is my mug and 
The container says it takes two to three days to dry, which honestly is really annoying. I guess we will be waiting two to three days. So I will see you in two to three days. All right, it's the next day. I just wanted to update you guys. It is doing well. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Okay. One debt to society later. Brain, 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 brain. All right. Come on, guys. We're just gonna have to get a little bit more organized. Me talking to myself. And by getting a little bit more organized, I mean throwing everything that's on my desk on the floor. Also, this came in the mail. So, thanks for this. Where'd the spoon come from? I didn't even use a spoon. Alright guys, so it's been a couple days since the last time I filmed something. Uh, you know, I'm here now and that's all that matters. Um, but the mug is completely dry. Hello? It's me. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted me to paint and a couple people said Spongebob, so I was like, you know what? Good idea. So I have quite a few shades of blue here and we are just gonna go ahead and begin. I don't really know how to make this part of the video entertaining. I don't really think any of this video is entertaining. Oh my goofy gaba rock. You know what? The Spongebob franchise did not have to go as hard as it did with goofy goober rock. They really outdid themselves with that. That defined a generation. I'm just basically putting blue paint everywhere. You can't see because the exposure is all messed up, but yeah, I'm just putting blue paint all over this. I don't really care. Go on Google and look up your birthday and then look up the like top hit song of your birthday. Like look up your year and your day and comment it down below because I'm genuinely curious. Mine was Believe by Cher, which is iconic. Do you believe in love and love? I can feel something inside to say. I really don't think you're strong enough, no. There's actually um, someone I went to high school with who always dressed up as Cher and like performed as Cher at like all the school events. I don't know, it seems like a weird fever dream now, but like, yeah, that happened. Okay, I have painted the whole thing blue and now I'm just gonna add like the, um... SpongeBob has like the nearest, dearest spot in my heart for some reason. Nice. Nice, Ron. What, I can't sneeze? Welcome to Gu Lagoon. Okay, I kind of just like how simple this is, so I think I'm gonna leave it how it is and just wait for it to dry, and then I'm gonna make some coffee and then we're gonna drink out of it and hopefully not die. Because it says it's not food safe, but also it said it's non-toxic, so I'll take my chances. The next day. All right, pack it up, horse girl. Uh, yep, just dipped my hair in the iced coffee, cool. It is now like day seven, maybe eight, maybe day five, I don't know. I feel like I'm just cosplaying as a human being at this point. Here is my mug, I sealed it with acrylic sealer so that maybe it would be a little bit more food safe. Probably not, because I'm gonna be drinking acrylic now, but it's okay. Here's the coffee that I'm gonna put inside of it. Well, the question is, is it gonna leak through? There's some in here and I don't... I'm dump it on my floor. I need to clean my room anyways. All right, I've decided I'm, I'm just gonna pour it in. What's the worst that can happen, you know? Yeah, it tastes like coffee. Um, I can't tell if the earthy tones are coming from the coffee or the clay, but mm, it's not bad. I could enjoy this. This is it. A few inches later. <laughs> no, I was sitting here just playing guitar for a little bit and yeah, it happened. Oh no, I'm just, I mean, I knew it would happen, but you know, I just, okay. I can't say that I'm surprised. Um. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I don't know what to do with it now. Should I just leave it upside down for a couple hours? Let it think about its mistakes? I fucked up. Nothing I haven't done before. Thank you guys for watching this video if you made it this far. Um, I doubt anyone made it this far, but hey, if you did. Comment the airplane seat emoji if you made it this far, because I'm just curious. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, because I might just die because I drank out of this. Follow my Instagram at abbylucia if you would like to see my face and my coffee recipes and my cats. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Woo! I wrote this, like, this guitar. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Song? It's not a song. I don't know. I wrote this guitar like 20 minutes ago.
yeah, that's that's all I got for my song. It's like 30 seconds long so far. Yeah, that's all I have. Thanks.